hello friends in this video we will solve this problem service lane in c programming language so when i have when i have tried this problem i found out that there are some mistakes so i will tell you where are the mistakes and i will tell you also that how you can resolve it so calvin is driving his favorite vehicle on 101 freeway he notices that check engine light of his vehicle is on and he wants to service it immediately to avoid any risk luckily a service lane run parallel to the highway and the service lane varies in width along its length so this is the highway and this is the service lane varying in its width so you will be given an array of width at a point along the roads then a list of indices of entry and exit points consider the entry and exit points pair and calculate the maximum size vehicle that can travel the segment of the service lane safely so n equal to 4 measurements yielding width so there are four measurements of service lane where the width of the service lane varies so at first index at zeroth index the width is 2 at first 3 at second 2 and at third 1 so our entry index is 1 that is 3 and exit index is 2 that is 2 so maximum size of vehicle maximum width of vehicle that can exit an entry that can entry enter and exit in this 3 and 2 width is 2 so basically we have to find the minimum number in the speed array from the given indices so I will tell you an example afterwards so in this function description there is a defect this n is an integer denoting the size of cases array so this is not the case this is a wrong statement n is an integer denoting the size of width array so this is the n is an integer denoting the size of width array and this case is a two dimensional array of integers where each element is an array of two integers representing the starting and the ending index of the segment to consider that is this is the entry point and a exit point of of our lane so input format is so input format is 8 the that is n that is the number of that is the size of width array and this 5 is the number of test cases so there are there are eight elements in width array and five test cases we have to check so the first test case is 0 to 3 that is from 0 index to third index so this is the zeroth index and this is the third index so we have to consider from this to to this two so in between these two the lowest number is one so we have to consider this one that is the width when the vehicle's width is one it can pass through all this lane all this width of lane so we will take another example from four to six that is from index four to six that is this is the index four and this is index six counting from zero that is zero one two three four so this is index four and this is index six so in between these indices that is three two three two is the lowest number that is two is the width of vehicle which can easily pass through this lane so you can take another example and understand this problem again so for the first 0 to 3 they have written 1 and for the second 4 to 6 that is from 3 to 3 they have written 2 that is the minimum number in between this range so we will jump to the function so there is a, also a defect in this function so we have to take the width array that they haven't passed in their function so we need this width array so we have to pass it manually from this function also in declaration also and in call also so the function call is somewhere here somewhere in the main so i will check it so here is the function call 
service lane as you can see so here we have to pass width so this will resolve all the problem in this function so after that we have the return type is integer pointer that is array so we will need a array dynamically allocated array so we will allocate this array using malloc the size of the array will be the size of the cases rows and then after we will run a loop starting from i equal to 0 till cases rows i plus plus so in this array we will consider that the width of cases of i 0 is the minimum width of the given range so i0 the, as the cases is two dimensional array the cases of i0 will we will consider firstly as a minimum width so after that we will check in a for loop which is the minimum length so this second for loop will start from i cases of i0 plus 1 and it will end till cases of i of 1 and then j plus plus so in this we'll check if width of i is less than min so we have to check if width of i is less than min so we'll give an if statement here so if width of so here we have to write width of j so if width of j is less than min then min is equal to width of j then after we have to allocate that min to our array so we will just allocate that min to our array so after completion of this for outer for loop we will get the result resulting array so we will just return our array so this will complete our fit we have to just also allocate the result count so result count will be equal to cases of so we have to check for the given index also so here is an equal to sign we have to give that is j is less than equal to cases of i of 1 so we will submit our code so all the test cases have passed so if you want more videos on hackering solutions please subscribe to my channel and you can watch more of the solutions in my hackering playlist Thank you for watching.